The Caribbean is your home by the sea. We will keep this place forever framed in your memory. Our experience is at your disposal. What are you waiting for? Jump in. So we're at Caribbean Resort and Villas. It's one of many properties within the Britain Resort family and one of a ton of properties within EOS Hospitality now. It's a big resort. You've got this sprawling property that's bringing all these guests in. And the guests don't know. The guests don't know about Juan Rivera. The guests don't know about the pool chemical levels. A man is accused of faking pool inspection logs at a Myrtle Beach hotel. A 45-year-old Juan Rivera was arrested yesterday and charged with forgery. According to the lawsuit, Juan Rivera was in charge of reporting and keeping track of chlorine levels. It's South Carolina law that a resort's chlorine level cannot be over an 8 on the test strip. DHEC's test of the Lazy River showed chlorine levels at 10. It's Caribbean Resort and your responsibility to make sure that the swimming pools that these guests are in, that the chlorine isn't over 10, true? Mm -hmm. yes? yes? Yes, sir. And if it is over 10 or if it is over 8, and someone gets hurt, that's Caribbean Resort and your responsibility, isn't it? Yes, sir. And what can happen to those guests if the pool gets those kind of chlorine levels? Chemical burns, I guess. South Carolina law requires that pools be closed if the log books aren't being properly maintained. That law is in place to prevent chemical burns and protect our most vulnerable. Ashton's a tough little kid, and on the way home, they noticed that Ashton's whiny, and it's just, it's not like Ashton. He was just crying. Like, I was sitting beside him. He was in the car seat, just screaming. He didn't stop. And as those chemicals burn through his, his flesh, as they burn through his tissue, it gets more and more and more painful. It continued to get worse and spread. It wasn't until the day progressed that we kind of realized it was a burn. This picture shows the scarring from the chemical burns his family says were caused from swimming in the Caribbean Resort and Villa's pool. He spent seven days at the UNC Burn Center where he endured multiple sessions of debridement, the medical removal of dead or damaged skin tissue to help heal the remaining healthy tissue. When we brought him home, she had to clean him with water and a rag, and he knew that when he come when she he seemed to the water and the bucket, he knew what was fixing to happen. We're looking at maybe four or five times a day. It was just like putting him through torture every time. quite frequent that children who have medically related trauma are going to associate it with the nurses, with the doctors. They can also associate it with their caregivers. In Ashton's case, I think that that's particularly profound. He is still in a developmental stage in his life where attachment and bonding with his primary caregiver, which in this case is his mom, is still forming, it's still solidifying. For Ashton, I would imagine even a bath was filled with trepidation. It wasn't fun. It wasn't nurturing. It wasn't soothing. It was painful. And for a three-year-old who doesn't have the capacity for complex reasoning, the consequences are far-reaching. As dangerous as chlorine is, the science is really well known. It's not that complicated to get it right. So in order for chlorine levels to get this bad, it had to be that nobody was watching. We had pool logs, which purported to show testing that all normal levels. 
Well, those can't be right because we know that DHEC, the agency responsible for regulating this, came out and tested. They found levels that were literally off the charts, chlorine so high that it exceeded the capacity of the testing kits to actually measure it. It's insanely dangerous. The gentleman who was signing off on the pool logs was doing so on days that he wasn't working, on days that he did not get paid. Why did we know that and they didn't? This went on a year before Little Ashton Douglas ever got in the pool. They had a year to figure this out. And all they had to do was say, well, golly, how is Juan Rivera completing the pool chemical logs on days he isn't working? You and Bob Wright were Juan Rivera's supervisors, correct? Correct. Did you have any responsibility uh, for the information that was entered in that pool chemical log book? Again, I'm going to assert the same objection. Are you asserting your Fifth Amendment right to that question? Yes. This resort had a legal duty. They had a legal duty to test the chemicals, they had a legal duty to document the chemicals in their pool chemical log, and they had a legal duty to keep families safe. And they violated all of those duties. Flagrant. Rob, sitting here today, would you like to know how many times Juan had falsified these records leading up to Ashton being in the old pools in May of 2020? Yeah, I don't really care. So we, we finished the deposition of the corporate representative, it was Denise Staley. Despite seeing the pictures and seeing the video and seeing the horrific consequences that, that actually had on a small child, we still can't get them to care. And the question is, so what investigation did you do to try to figure out how could that have happened? And the answer is, it doesn't matter to us how it could have happened. Our only obligation was to reopen that pool. Essentially they're saying, what's the point of figuring out how this tragedy occurred? Now, I think the answer is obvious, you know, if you don't learn history, you're doomed to repeat it. And unfortunately, it looks like when you kind of poke around for five minutes on the internet, there's multiple reports on Google of other people having not only issues with the pool, but having uh, red eyes, burning eyes, and literally other reports of chemical burns. Coming down here, I mean, my, my sincere hope was that finally, finally, someone from this corporation would take some level of responsibility. They did. There's an incredibly high probability that Ashton will experience difficulty with body image, with comfort in somebody seeing those injuries. Humanity has a natural revulsion to disfigurement. That first time in the locker room when you have to shower after gym class and the kids are gonna see it. He's gonna be the subject of mockery. He's gonna be the subject of whispers. One day, he's gonna to wanna to be intimate with a woman. The fear of that moment is gonna be with him. It wasn't his choice. Ashton Douglas and his family are never going to forget what happened to him. Caribbean Resort and Villas, Britain Resorts, and EOS should never forget either. $10 million they'll forget in 20 or 30 years. $50 million they never forget. So we're going to go and we're going to win that case and we're going to win it big because that is what justice commands. <laughs>